This morning, our offering is for Calvin Theological Seminary. Um, that is the official seminary of our denomination. And uh, we currently have, uh, I think, three or four students from our classes attending Calvin. Um, I myself went there for a little while. Uh, it is a good school, uh, and it is wonderful to have it as part of our denomination. Not only does it train uh, new pastors and other ministry leaders, but they also contribute significantly and on a regular basis to denominational discussions, uh, trying to help us discern things. Uh, we have uh, some folks from our own, uh, connected loosely with our own congregation, who are uh, professors there as well. So uh, please consider that as you uh, prayerfully give your offering. Uh, in terms of congregational prayer, uh, Jeanette's surgery, Lord willing, is in five days. Um, so that is good. A lot has fallen into place and we are very grateful for that as well. There's still some more to fall into place, but uh, we trust very much in the Lord and for his provision for that as well. Let us come to God in congregational prayer. Father in heaven, thank you again that we can be here today. Thank you, O oh God, that uh, even though our area is heading into yellow uh, this tomorrow, uh, Lord, that we will still, at least for the time being, be able to meet face-to-face-ish uh, -face uh, with proper physical distancing, of course. Thank you so much that uh, we were able to, on, in some measure, gather together to celebrate uh, Martin's life and your goodness to him, uh, but also that we were able to grieve together. Lord, we pray very much that you will be with Odie and the rest of the family as well, that you will comfort them, continue to comfort them uh, in the days and weeks and months and years to come. Father, we continue to pray, of course, for Wayne and for Sherry as well in their, um, in their situation. Lord, please, uh, in particular, um, strengthen Wayne and and. Lord, we ask that your will would be done with him, just as we ask that for all of us. Father, we pray, too, that you will continue to be with Henny and Mark, O oh God. Uh, we pray that you will continue to be with Henny as she goes through her ongoing treatments. And Father, we pray that you will be with the many in our congregation who struggle with ongoing health concerns, uh, or uh, whether they be physical or spiritual or uh, mental or emotional uh, or uh, circumstantial, O oh God. Lord, we just pray that you will, uh, you will come around and embrace those who are struggling. Father, we pray that we would be as much as we can be in this time a, a, part, a huge part of that. For we know that we have been called to be your witnesses. And that in our case, witnessing is not simply speaking words, but also doing deeds. It is also loving people in your name. Father, we pray that as we come to your scriptures in the sermon in a few moments, that you will guide us there. Lord, open our hearts and minds that we may hear what you would have us hear. Father, we pray as well for Calvin Seminary. We ask that you would bless them. Bless their professors and their students and their staff. Lord, help them to continue to be a blessing to this denomination. Lord, we know that no school, no seminary, no uh, institution is perfect any more than we are perfect. But nonetheless, we are grateful for your provision in schools and universities and seminaries like Calvin. Father, we pray as well that you will be with this whole area, this country, uh, this nation. 
Lord, that you will be with us as we continue to navigate this world in which we live right now. Father, we, may we not forget that there are issues beyond uh, COVID-19. We, may we remember that throughout this world there are still injustices being perpetrated. That there are still wars being fought. That there are still people living under oppression. There are still people being persecuted for their faith. May we remember and not forget. And may we act and not be passive. Lord, help us to live out our lives, whatever they may look like, with passion for you, O oh God. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen.